it's Wednesday, June 21st, 2023, and I'm Kimberly from Fat Quarter Chef Floss Tube. So I wanted to let you know that today this is pre-recorded, but you can put your questions in there and we will still answer them. I am on a flight right now to Chicago to check out some new products at the H&H show. So, but I didn't want to miss Floss Tube this week, so we have lots of stuff to show you. I have lots of new patterns. I have red, white, and June stitch along progress, and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing in Jolly July. So, we're going to jump right in with our newest item. It's called Santa's Bake Shop, and it's a brand new mystery downloadable PDF. So, right now, you can purchase the pattern, and what you will get is the supply list, and then on July 14th, you will get the first part, the second part, or July 7th, you get the first part, then July 14th, 21st, and 28th. So this one's really cute. This year we did it on a different fabric. This is white snow on aqua dyed effect. It's super cute. Um, the snowflakes really show up well. So that's really cute. And then we also have the thread pack and the thread pack has got classic color work. So we've got the mystery PDF pattern. If you get that now, what you'll get is this sheet. And then um, you would just order the fabric. We're using 14 count and the thread pack. And of course we're doing it in four sections and then it matches really cute to our Berry Mad for Plaid mesh bag. So, um, we finished this using the Stitching with the Housewives red and white stripe and then the Pretty Plaids fabric out here. And then this is a square wood wall decor from Hobby Lobby. And then this is the Priscilla and Chelsea ribbon. And this is the Chelsea's checks on a covered button. So um, everything is available at that quarter shop. And let's see, I'll give you a little peek. So it, um, it says bake shop, so you can kind of figure out it's going to be kind of bake shoppy. So we hope you like this one. The stitch count is 114 wide by 136 high. So it's about eight and a quarter by nine and three quarters and um, super cute. And that's all I'm going to show you. So um, hopefully you'll join me um, stitching this. I will be stitching this as part of Jolly July, and I will stitch it in four sections, just like um, you guys will when you get your, your sections. So that is our paid pattern. Our next pattern I'm gonna show you is our mystery, and this is a free pattern. So this one is going to um, release on Tuesdays. So this is the Evergreen Mystery Free Cross Stitch. So if you go to our website now, you would download this, which is the supply sheet, and you would get just the supply sheet for now. Part one will come out in July, and same thing, it'll come out in four different parts. The difference in these two is they're both mysteries, but this one is a free pattern. So this one we've shown before, we have our Classic Color Works Thread Pack, and this time we stitched on natural 14 count Ada by Witchell. And um, it's the same thing we stitched last year's mystery on and people really love the fabric. So we decided to keep it the same. And I'm actually considering using this fabric for the weigh-in by Priscilla and Chelsea. And if you wanna see that, they did a really cute photo on their Instagram that we can pop up right here. And that is going to be for the very first weigh-in for, I think the month is September. It's really cute. And I'm thinking about stitching it on the natural 14 count since the Monaco hasn't come in stock or the DMC fabric hasn't come in stock. So you guys can comment and let me know if you think that would look pretty or not. I still haven't decided. I said I was going to finish and decide, but I, of course, haven't. So... That is um, Mary, oh, that is um, Evergreen. So now we're gonna show you everything I have scheduled for Jolly July. So those are the first two and those are the first. So Jolly July is where I stitch um, with Priscilla and Chelsea in the month of July. And so those first two are gonna be four days each. So Evergreen is four days, Santa's Bake Shop is four days. And then this is a pattern that came out at Nashville Needlework Market and I loved it and I didn't have time to stitch it. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna 
have Priscilla finish it the same exact way. So this is going to be five different days and I'm stitching mine on chalkboard black. So it'll be a little bit lighter fabric than theirs. And you need um, four skeins of ribbon red and four skeins of 12 grain. And I'm gonna actually stitch mine with bamboo. So um, I'm gonna change mine to be a little bit uh, whiter just because I've stitched bamboo and all my other things. And then um, they've used their ribbon here to finish them off, really cute. And um, so there's five letters. Each letter, if you stitch on 14 count, is three inches by five inches. And so I'm gonna be doing ribbon red and bamboo. And this pattern is available paper pattern or PDF pattern. And then um, I talked to Priscilla and Chelsea and every Wednesday and Friday, they're gonna come out with a new, um, a new uh, tear tray tidbit, dapper doodad, that kind of thing. But I haven't seen any of them. So those are gonna, I'm gonna pick eight days for that. So four for the Wednesdays and four for the Fridays. And they did tell me they're gonna stitch on black. So I'm gonna use 14 count chalkboard black. So that's gonna be my Jolly July. Now I also wanna stitch Santa's Candy Cane Lane for Jolly July, but I'm not sure if my time is going to allow for it. So it's gonna be a maybe as part of Jolly July. It's a brand new pattern. It's pretty big. It's um, 83 by 224. So it finishes about six by 16 inches. And um, they stitch theirs with classic color works. And then we're in the middle of red, white, and June, and that's what I came up with this year just to stitch patriotic. And so this, um, last week I showed week one. This is what I finished since then. This is red, white, and blue by stitching with the housewives. I stitched on chalkboard black, 14 count, and I use called four colors. And so this one came out um, last year or the year before. So I got that done. And then I started month to month July. And so I'm hoping to finish this this week. I'm actually gonna be stitching it on the plane on Wednesday. So I'm hoping to finish the July and then the border up here. That's all I have left to do. I'm stitching on 14 count pale gray gingham. Ada called for classic color works. And when this one is done, I will have the entire month to month series done. And so I'll frame it. And what I'll do is I'll do a trunk show of all 12 framed. And I did these uh, professionally framed. And then I framed all of these with a small frame from Home Goods. And some of them are the same frame, some of them are different, but I'll do a trunk show once I get everything back from the framer. I also stitched Bent Creek red, white, and you. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So this one I stitched on the Kimberly's Blue Gingham 14 Count Ada, and I used the Summer Memories Aurafil box. So if there was a light blue, I just used that from the box, and um, I didn't have to add any colors or anything. And then I also stitched from Bent Creek Starlight Berry Sampler. And this one I did have to add um, the yellow and, let's see, the yellow and the white. So those are um, the Aurifold blocks and I just added the yellow and the white that I mentioned last week. I think it's 2024 and 2600 as the colors I think I used. So those two are Bent Creek, super cute. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna finish these yet. So um, what I think we're gonna do is when we're done with Red, White, and June is kind of figure out a plan for how we're gonna finish each and then probably send some to Priscilla, send some to my framer, and then some we're gonna turn into pillows. I do think these would be really cute framed though. And this one, I love this frame. And then from It's So Emma, we have the Typeface Patriotic. And so I stitched all of these. These took about six hours. 
So we went smaller with this typeface. So the previous typefaces were one pattern really large. And so this one we decided to do smaller and I think it's been much more successful. And um, so basically I just stitched called for colors. We have a thread pack and we have a um, PDF or a paper pattern of the series. I did wanna show you Gretchen um, stitched this really cute with the Uncle Sam. So what she did is she, um, she just stitched the left side and then she reversed the image for the right side and she just made Uncle Sam one person instead of the text on the right. So I found, and then she also stitched the words on a separate piece and you can see that in the bottom right. So really cute. I, I don't know what floss she used, but that is posted in Kimberly Stitch Squad. So you can always ask her questions of what um, she finished it on. And I think that would probably be cute with all of them. You could probably reverse that. So it sounds like from what I read her text is that she just put it on a copier and then reversed. So I have these three done. These are definitely gonna be pillows. And this one, we did a video on how to turn it into pillows. So this one will be just totally done and in pillows. We don't even have to think about that. So that is red, white, and June. And then I got some more things done. So this is kind of my stitch along progress. I stitched May Barn Sweet Barn. And this, so this one's mine. And then this one is Cheryl's. And this one is a PDF pattern. And um, we have a thread pack. So this is May and um, mine always comes out darker. I didn't use um, thread conditioner or anything. So it's just interesting to see our pieces. And I'm gonna take this to the framer this week and I'm framing mine in just a simple white frame. And all the information on how Cheryl finished hers is on the front of the pattern right here. So I got that done. And I'm gonna stitch uh, June this week. And then Bountiful, I got part four done, I think. So this one I'm stitching on pale gray gingham. This is a completely free pattern from Fact Quarter Shop. And we've raised $56,000 for Make-A-Wish. And um, this is our fourth year doing a charity cross stitch for Make-A-Wish. And um, the stitch count is 131 by 131. And so this was part one, the border, part two, three, four. Then in July will be part five. And then I cheated and already stitched part six because I was on vacation and didn't have anything else to stitch. So I kind of got ahead, but the next release will be July 7th. And then the, the border will be in August. So you can look forward to that. Super easy. I'm just stitching on pale gray gingham. I'm using the Aura Floss box that we put together. No, I'm not. I'm using classic color works. So, oh, what I'm doing, I put it in the bountiful um, thread box, but it's, it's a uh, classic color works that I'm stitching with. And then last night I finished this on the way to Father's Day dinner. So this is Houses on Peppermint Lane. The designer is Pansy Patch Quilts. And if you want to see any of the details on this stitch along on December 14th, 2022, Floss Tube 186 has all the details. But this one is Houses on Peppermint Lane Pinwheel House. And I'm using the thread uh, Kimberly's Houses on Peppermint Lane Starter Thread Pack. This is Oatmeal 14 Count by Lori Holt. And I'm stitching on the modeled side. So now I have three left to do and I'm getting, I'm taking this to the framer and I'm getting all of these frames. So that is done. And that didn't take too long. Um, kind of what I did was I started over here and then when I did the house, I did all of the dark brown first and then I did um, the pinks, the door, and then I just filled in. So it was pretty easy. I was able to do it. Um, in the car when Kevin was driving because I just, you know, it's a lot of fill in area. And this one finishes about five and a half by seven. And I didn't put the bottom border that comes on the pattern. We are gonna be doing a stitch along uses, using um, the 
Pumpkin Lane, but that is going to be released later in the year. We're currently coloring that to figure out how many skeins we need and putting the thread packs together. And I will be stitching those individually. And I'm probably not going to put the border, but this time we're going to color the border for you so that if you want to do it, it's at least colored for you. And more details on that will be coming later in the year. So I have six of nine done. And then right after last week's live stream, I finished the polls here. So that's really cute. It looks really cute. Um, this one, let's see. I'm stitching on light taupe 28 count Lugana by Zweigart. Uh, the fabric, we have it on order. It's not going to arrive until August. And I am using the Welcome to the North Pole Thread Pack, which is a combination of classic Week Style Works and a few DMC. And then I'm going to be using the button pack. I'm going to do, I did think about this after last week's live stream when I saw some questions. I'm going to stitch everything and put the buttons on last. So I'm not going to put the buttons on as I go, but I'll probably do the back stitch as I go. But I'm just, I think I'll wait and do the buttons last. So that's what I got done this week. But also this week we released part three of our Haunted Halloween Fat Quarter Shop exclusive mystery stitch along. And so this is uh, part three before it was finished. And Cheryl stitched this one and then Denise is stitching along and we'll show hers when it's all finished. And um, Priscilla finished this using um, Chelsea's checks here and then their brand new um, stitching with the Housewives polka fabric that's coming out uh, this fall. And this is a tray from Hobby Lobby. We put all the finishing here. The pistachio we're still sold out of, I think, but um, just check online and we'll see um, if we're sold out of it. I think we got another shipment, but I think it might've already sold out. I can't remember. So if you're gonna make it exactly like Cheryl's, you need the Classic Color Works Thread Pack, pistachio 14 count fiber on a whim, and um, this is a free pattern. So um, you can do this on anything you want. You can stitch it. And um, if you go to Kimberly Stitch Squad and Facebook, you can see other people stitching along fun um, colored, different colored fabrics. And then this week, last week I showed you June stitched. And then this week, uh, Denise stitched it for me. So thank you, Denise. This uh, right here, this grunge is 30150-60. So mine is all done and she glues mine down um, completely so that it doesn't interchange um, because I'm gonna put those all, I'm gonna display them all at once. And then thank you to Priscilla who made the bows and the cover button. And so for everyone in the club, I'm about to give a tease for July. So it's not available yet, but I'm gonna, show you. So July, we didn't do patriotic just because we have a lot of customers that aren't in the United States. So we did more of a picnic theme. And we, um, when, when Chelsea and Priscilla made this a uh, ribbon, they made it where it disattaches. And so this is Cheryl's piece. And so mine stays in place and hers attaches. And this one, the grunge right here, is 30150-254. And you can, um, if you're in the club, you're, you're going to get this design. It's going to ship to you July 3rd. And then if you're not in the club, it will um, be available about two weeks after. So super cute. We've got lemonade, picnic baskets, popsicles, watermelon. And so I'm gonna start stitching mine this week, but I probably, well, I might start stitching it this week. I might start stitching it in July. We'll see. Um, but we just wrapped up the pattern, so that's exciting. And I'll show you. We use some of the new, the Cottage Daisies, Fields of Green. Those two are brand new class, Classic Color Works fabric threads. So just so you could see, we're working in some of the newer colors. And then Cheryl did a lot of stitching this week. So 
the Americana Petites is a brand new pattern by Little House Needleworks. It is four different designs. This is her eighth in the series of petites. Each design is 39 stitches square by 39 inches square. Now these models were stitched on 30 count portobello linen. Cheryl stitched, okay, so just pay attention to this top one. This is this one. So Cheryl stitched two stitches over two on 32 count light taupe Lugana. She used called for classic color works, except she substituted the DMC 3865 for bamboo. So this is bamboo. And I'm not sure if she's gonna stitch the other three. We'll have to ask her and see, but I know she stitched that one. And then Liberty and Love was also a new pattern by Primrose Cottage. So she stitched that down here. And instead of using the Primrose Cottage DMC color, she just used the colors that were called for in the Little House Needleworks Americana Petites. So those are two that she stitched. And then I have two framed finishes to show you. The first one is Be Kind by Erin Elizabeth Designs. And on she gave these away as gifts, which is why um, we haven't, we're not showing them to you in person. She stitched two stitches over two on 28 count mushroom Lugana called for DMC. The next one we showed you stitch, but now it's framed finished. This one is Hello Spring by Primrose Cottage. Cheryl stitched on Castell. Cheryl stitched on Candy Pastel Dots, 28 count from Fabric Flare, called for a DMC, and the letters in the tulip were changed to the name of the little girl she made it for. Okay, so from last week, we had some follow-up questions. One was, when will the Tarte 10 ornaments be back in stock? And they will be back in stock in late July. And then for flash sale today, we have Silver Creek Samplers Reaping Love and then one skein of Cosmo Color 112. Okay, because it's our birthday this month, we're turning 20 years old. We're going to do a huge giveaway. So you can win the Cross Stitchers Prize Basket, which includes cross stitch patterns, floss, fabric, and organizational supplies. Or you can pick from a, a six month Stitch Quarterly membership, which is two quarters, um, to enter to win one of these prizes, you must be subscribed to the Cross Stitch Newsletter by Monday, June 26th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you are a member, uh, are, if you are on the Cross Stitch Newsletter list, you're automatically entered to win. If you're not, just sign up with the link below in the box and you can sign up. And then also you can comment after this video to see what your favorite birthday memory is. Make sure you use the word birthday in your comment and we will be um, announcing winners for all of this later in the month. And also any more details you wanna see on that, you can find on the Fat Quarter Shop blog called The Jolly Jabber. And thank you so much for watching today. Of course, if you have any questions, we will definitely answer them and I will be back live next Wednesday. See you then.